Hey everyone, I'm Erin Saxton, that girl from Jersey, and joining me are the crew. So we have Ella in New Jersey, we have uh, Della in South Carolina, we have Jackie in Los Angeles, and joining me still is Christina from New Jersey, and we're, we're the crew. Everybody can join us. We do not say no. If you want to get in and get a square and be square with us, just go to theerinnetwork.com. Um, you know, we're all in the same clothes. We've recently talked and recorded an interview, but as, as true to form, I didn't talk about anything that I thought we would talk about. And that could even happen right now. So, so we recorded something similar, but if you're tuning in again and you're listening in, nothing we're about to say, even though I'm still wearing my t-shirt and fake diamond earrings. Um, Christina's are real though, by the way. Um, <laughs> I, you know, for me, I, I will um, just tune in because it's all, it's all new, brand new material. So how are y'all doing today? Good? Yes. Great. Great. All right. Wonderful. So, so we all know my uncle just passed away, right? And he lived in South Carolina and I have a very close family and it's coming off of the heels of he was sick and you know we just loved him and when something like that hits it really close like that it it rocks everybody what had happened though was i was already wrestling with um stuff right so this is you know normally i'm perky right and i'm not going to go all sad here but i do want to i do want to get real so Yesterday, and there, and I don't want to go into details of all of it, but in privately, we know like we've switched schools with Eric recently. We've, you know, like I'm trying to lose weight and I'm trying to figure out how to promote this show more. And then Uncle Doug passes away. And I just find that there's some moments where I'm frozen. Right? Mm -hmm. And I'm like, am I depressed? No, probably not. but I'm just frozen and I, I, there. I was in a air station. I probably was freezing up even before Uncle Doug passed. Uncle Doug passing gave me permission to stay frozen for a little longer. Yeah. Right. So I want to open the conversation up because I, I recorded yesterday something and I purposely didn't share it with any of you <laughs> because I didn't want to ruin this little organic moment we're about to have. So I had this wonderful barter phone call with Lisa Cherney. She's a marketing rock star. She's got her own show. She called me for things. I asked her back and we just talked for about an hour and a half no fees, just two brilliant minds that we are plussing it. And she gave me some great advice. And she said, you know, as you're frozen, my word today it was a different word yesterday. Like, I want to stay inspired, but I'm not inspired. I, I'm, I'm making sure that I'm being good for my clients. And my clients, I'm defining them as the people that are paying me, right? There's that out of integrity obligation that even though I'm frozen or sad or lazy or uninspired for myself or for my fitness regimen or for all the extra things that I could be doing to be an awesome mom or whatever story and bullshit I'm saying to myself, I'm not, not showing up for my clients. But what's happening is sometimes I have, let's say I have 80% of energy I'll give it because I feel like I've got 80% of energy. I give 100% of that to my clients. And then it leaves me with, oh, I'm supposed to be my best client, right? So what happened was I was really clear that I was going to carve out time yesterday because I've been, so we mourned Uncle Doug. I mean, it's ongoing, but we, we had the memorial in South Carolina and I feel good this week. So this is funny that this is coming out of, I'm no longer frozen because I'm aware, right? So I'm aware of, I know what I know. There's a whole bunch I still don't know that I don't know, but I'm aware that I know. 
And so I promised myself that I would figure some things out with that girl from Jersey. And we have an opportunity to package some shows for a television network. And I promised myself that I would work on this. So here's what I did. I baked a cake. <laughs> what? You and, and today I ate, and I did put it on a you are special plate. No. And today I ate half no. the cake. No. So I no. I brought you a fork. <laughs> no. And no. So, the thing is, <laughs> the thing is, instead of working on, have some. And these are, it's delicious, by the way. That and it's a box cake. Yeah, it's a box cake. Jackie, this is a ploy to get me to move to Jersey. That's what this is. That's what this it's is. a box cake. And I put peppermint, like, sprinkles on it. Mm -hmm. And this didn't take a long time. It's three eggs, quarter cup of oil, and a cup of water. You mix it, and you put it in a bunk pan. No. So I didn't even... Oh yeah, I didn't bake this, right? This is Betty flipping Crocker. <laughs> <laughs> what does that have to do with the show? What does that have to do with the business? What does it have to do with you? Everything. I didn't work on any of that. And instead, I baked a cake. If this isn't a scream for help, people. <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. Right? So it's good. Ella did it. Ella, go over there. <laughs> Help. Help. My Help. question is, Help. Help. when you guys are supposed to do what you want to do, what do you do? Do you lean into a cake? Do you binge watch TV? Like, you can't force yourself to be present and work on something, you know, for yourself if it's just not there. So what do you all do? To, to snap yourself out of it or to get inspired again. Or I love our company. I love our brand. I just, it, I find it, it's like going to church for me. I find it extremely inconvenient. Oh I'm going there, Jack. I'm going there, Della and Jackie, my little soul sisters. I find it extremely inconvenient. <laughs> I think church should be open 24 hours with just like, I don't think you have to go to church, right? But if you're going, you have to show up at a 10 o'clock mass for it to count. Like, I just feel like it's forced, right? So to have to, and I'll leave that one alone. I swear one day I'll have a priest here and he and I'll just get it on, right? So, but to have to then at 2 p.m. be creative, ready, go showtime like no i'm gonna bake a cake instead because i i thought i'm not gonna sit and just veg out i don't want to watch tv i feel like i need to do something so by baking a cake i thought i swear to god i thought well eric likes cake <laughs> he comes home and finds a baked good in his house then maybe i was a shit job customer person to me, but I was a good mom because I baked him a cake. Right. <laughs> I feel so beautiful, right? Because and I was like, I did something. So mm. well, I'm opening this up and then I'll tell you what I did after, which will then loop this all together and we'll really have a namaste moment. <laughs> Ready, go. Thoughts? Well, <laughs> if someone who is frozen as well, I, I don't know. I, I, I do the same thing. I overeat. I binge watch. I, I, but I feel like having kids pushes me to do what, like in real life, how I feel. If I did not have children, I'd be in the bed and I'd be 300. I'd be 600 pounds light. You watch that show? <laughs> I be that. <laughs> Crawled across my bread. Bring me some fried chicken. <laughs> but I, I appreciate your honesty. I mean, I'm trying to be really. I mean, I think, and this is such a safe. Even yeah. though the world is going to see this, but I, uh, this is who the show is. This is the show 
for people to tune in and laugh and maybe not cry all the time, but go, oh my gosh. I I, I feel the same way. Right? (laughs) So how do you feel? Well, I guess I feel the same way. Sometimes I feel that I want to have uh, ice cream. Mm. Or not to be, I forget that I have two kids. Yeah. Right. Um, yeah. Yeah. It's Some, right. Ella, what do you do when you freeze or whatever uh, we're calling it? When I usually, um, when I'm running out of, I like to call it that creative spirit and I've, I've hit a wall or whatever. My battery is low. I, I, put on my slippers and the <laughs> pants I can find and I crawl in bed and I put on my heating pad and I read a book and oh, it just like, because I'm not actively stressing about anything or you know I have to be doing this this and this you know that I dive into the story and the story distracts me you know and it it recharges me that way that's good Now, do you beat yourself up? Do you guys beat yourself up for being frozen or binging TV or like, because while I'm trying to honor myself and, and do stuff, I then have that negative, like critical mind I get. I'm starting to quote Alina Chapman, right? But (laughs) which is great. Like, I like, wow, it's working. She, her material is really coming through. That's, that's a client and friend of ours. So, um, Anyway, but, but it's true, right? And so instead of just, I do feel like, Ella, books and movies help me get so deep into their life yeah. mm-hmm. that you forget about the reality. Though yeah. coming out of that binge then feels like, oh, I forgot, you know? Yeah, about well, you can feel refreshed, I think, once you're back in. If you're not feeling refreshed, give yourself a and And you can't feel bad about it. Like, if you feel and- bad about it, then... Something else is wrong. You know what I mean? And I think that's why I love reality TV. Like, there's not a nonsense TV show that I don't love. Like, I have so many guilty pleasures, and I think that's what it is. It's just that, like, it makes, like, my life seem, like, fantastic because theirs is so screwed up. But for my freeze, like, I've taken – I – I – I'm so blessed for the support I have around me that you guys included that just kind of like keeps keeps me going, keeps me afloat. But I have taken, I'm like, this is too much. So guess whose first therapy session is next week? Awesome. Good for you. So I'll let you know if I have any, I love the term freeze, frozen, because mm-hmm. that is exactly what it feels like. So hopefully I, I deep thaw, yeah. start to deep thaw. It doesn't and, feel like, dep- I've been depressed. I've had anxiety and over, I mean, I think everyone has, whether they're conscious of it or not in different forms. I'm not, I don't feel that, but I do feel like this, analysis paralysis I feel at time and I am falling out this week but god I mean if some you know I feel fragile like if got knock on wood if something were to happen today I'd go so frozen like when when life when you're thawing out and life just happens and let's face it life happens so what happens when you're thawing out and then you get like do you try to stay thawing or do you freeze back up and that's what I think I'm more conscious of these days I don't know mm-hmm. Jackie sense. ask your therapist and let me know what he or she said well I think we all need right. that you know you, what about you Del? you should uh, feel in the, the the feeling you know you feeling froze say uh, give uh uh be compassion you know right with you and and allowed to do that you allowed to because I think, uh, like you said, when you force, when you come back and you're trying to do it, you're not, give, you're not giving you 80%. Right. You're just giving five. Yeah. You know, not even though. You're not really feeling life, you know. So, yeah. Put your music aloud, go dance. I don't know. I, I, I do so many things. When they, it's all depends. I follow my uh, feelings at the, the moment. 
I'm feeling to dance. I throw, you know, and I forget it about everything. Mm -hmm. I give me, I give a permission to give a five minutes or 10 minutes or, or a day, the whole day. Yeah. You know, and How about like five weeks. Is that too much? No. So Della, Della and Della and I work together. So she knows when I freeze because she's my executive assistant. So, um, every once in a while I'll be like, Hey, <laughs> you know, Della, what do you do when you freeze? <sighs> I, I freeze literally. Like I can go hard. I, I relate to everything you just said. You are going hard for other people's projects, your job, your kids, but then it's something that's supposed to be near and dear to you. Yeah. I totally just freeze. I'll, I'll keep putting it on the back burner to the point where it's forgotten. Mm -hmm. Um, but to get me out of that when I recognize that, oh, wait a minute, what am I doing? You know, Carolyn, I call yeah. her, she's my mojo. You know, she, she steps me back in it very gently and lovingly. <laughs> Cause I don't like pain. I don't like aggression, you know? So she, she is my connector. And then you're becoming one of those connectors, which is freaking me out lately, but that's good. But, you know, and then I will do what, what she just said. I will go dancing or see a live show. That is my way to defrost because I'm not really in the TV. And I don't want any reality TV people to hurt. I don't like it. <clears throat> it's too much negativity and drama. So I just really don't watch it. I don't even know who, what, what shows are on. So I don't do those kind of things. I cook for my kids all the time. So that's my, my thing is getting out of the house and going to something live to help re-energize me. But it, it takes that phone call or that drop-in visit to help, you know, crack the um, shell so I can start to frost. I love that. Well, I'm going to end it here because, you know, to segue into something flippant and funny probably just would disservice this, but I'd love for everybody, you know, in the chats below or on our social media, like, I, I really want to start talking about real stuff. You know, I, um, I recently, oh, I bought a URL, you guys, as if we don't own enough, but I recently bought a URL called been there, felt that. I love okay. it. Okay. Okay. Yeah. So I feel That's like we big paid the big bucks, Saxton. That's a so good it's one. Like, been there, felt that. I think we'll do a signature talk on it. We'll start promoting it. But like, I do feel like there's a group waiting for us. Not that I'm a therapist. If anything, I'm its fearless example leader of what not to try at home but you know i feel like i want to help us all kind of just yeah. be able to chat about this and been there felt that and if it's not mm -hmm. me who's felt that um and i felt a lot then i'm sure there's somebody in our community that could at least have a, a moment i find these conversations are so validating you know and um i just want to thank you guys for holding the space for me for that and Thanks to everybody at home for tuning in. Go to the AaronNetwork.com for more information or check us out and go to YouTube and watch That Girl from Jersey. And anything else I should be telling our friends here? You're good. We're good. So everybody from out there, goodbye from Los Angeles, New Jersey, South Carolina. We'll see you all real soon. I'm Erin Saxton. Thanks.